Ce-i ne va arăta lăsa de asta mai dați bani alic? Ai sol mai încă zăruțeni, farai mai rău ei. Hello. Hey. Uh, nice to meet you. Welcome to Armenia. Thanks, thanks, man. Uh, first of all, I would like you to introduce uh, what you do about uh, your channel and the situation um, of media. Like, tell me, tell, tell us about the media uh, in Zimbabwe because we don't know much about. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, I mean, um, uh, in Zimbabwe, we uh, uh, we've, we've, we've grown up with a very uh, uh, state-controlled media uh, situation uh, so uh, we got independence in 1980 from colonial rule uh, and since then uh, actually up until 2017 we had one president uh, for life uh, we had one TV channel for life and that TV channel was controlled by the by, by the state um, so the state really controls all radio and TV um, and uh, it, it, yeah, they, they don't really support different uh, opinions and different points of view. Um, so you've had newspapers, uh, independent newspapers that have been bombed, uh, uh, bloggers and satirists who get arrested or abducted. Um, so it's quite a tense, crazy situation. Uh, but we're, you know, we're guys who are crazy enough to, to do satire and, and, and to use comedy uh, as a means to tell alternative stories, to communicate to young people, and also to challenge what the, all the propaganda that the state puts out. Um, so we started our, our, our satire uh, back in 2011. Uh, we created a show called Zambezi News, which was a parody of the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation, the state-controlled broadcaster. Mm -hmm. So the, the show would have three bungling newscasters who are just you know, issuing out relentless propaganda uh, and it became very popular uh, at first uh, uh, when we were producing it we knew it wouldn't get onto TV uh, so we would produce it on DVD uh, and we would distribute tens of thousands of DVDs across the country to villages, towns, uh, all over um, and we'd get really re really good feedback uh, apart from one viewer who wrote in uh, saying, uh, I can't believe this is the state of our national broadcaster. I can't believe that ZBC has sunk to these levels. And so, you know, I turned to, to, to my comrades and I was like, guys, we can quit now. They think that we're the national broadcaster. Um, but yeah, since then, Zambezi News has, yeah, has, has really grown. We've produced five seasons. It's been broadcast uh, across Southern Africa, uh, reaching 2.2 million households. Uh, our satire has been featured on a lot of international media, The Guardian, CNN, uh, BBC, Channel 4. Um, and, now, and now we're also producing over the last few years uh, with the advent of, um, of, of you know, much more access to internet uh, for young people in Zimbabwe, the advent of social media. Uh, we're producing a lot more uh, content for the YouTube generation. You said your government was controlling the ZBC channel. Yeah. So when you just started doing your channel on uh, via DVDs, yes? Yeah. So did your government try to control you as well, or? No, no. We, we didn't get with with, um, with uh, Z Z Zambezi News. Uh, we were able to to distribute the, the the DVDs. I mean, what it did end up meaning was that because of the content we'd put out, we'd be blacklisted from, from radio and TV. So still, even you know, to this day, there's, there's, you know, st the state-controlled radio stations won't, won't allow us on for an interview, even if we're going to speak about something completely different. We want to talk about our festival that we're organizing. Yeah. The radio stations will be like, no, don't give you... Uh, and what about phone. the police? No problems with police? Um, we, um, yeah, we had, we, we, yeah, we had some, some problems. Uh, when you, for instance, when we wanted to launch one of our seasons of, uh, of Zambezi News, the uh, police refused to give us clearance to go ahead with the launch. Mm -hmm. um, and we decided to, we just went ahead with it anyway and had our, had our lawyers present and luckily they, they didn't do anything. Um, but we have, yeah, we have faced increasing repression from the state because of our satire, uh, our, you know, because now we're producing a lot of other shows, including The Week, which is like a weekly um, political roundup of the news uh, that we put out on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, it pokes fun at the government a lot, I, I present it. Uh, and uh, we actually saw yeah, 
in, in 2017, uh, I think because of that, that show, uh, the, the state arrested uh, Omagamba TV producer, they locked up in maximum security prison, uh, they raided our offices, they confiscated our laptops. Um, so that you know that that That's definitely serious. that yeah that definitely happens and we and we get you know the, we we also you know we we receive threats we we, we see in uh, you know even in the in the, in the big state uh, state newspapers I mean they've they've put out you know front page and cover spreads about how just basically our entire our entire organization is is about a regime change and trying to overthrow the government and so we're very much on the kind of the radar of. Uh, of the government. Yeah. When you started, uh, were you sure that you want to uh, share the new opinion for you through humor, humor, or like there were other options and then you choose humor and why humor? Uh, because uh, it's not very common to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think with um, our organization, Magamba, we run different media projects. So some is like serious, like citizen journalism, and others is like producing video documentaries. But Magamba TV specifically is our production house for political satire and comedy shows. Uh, and so with that, we focus just on producing yeah shows that humorously get a message across. Uh, and I think we saw the, the power of that with some busy news, uh, and that's why we've. You know, we, we, we're now producing shows like The Week, we produce, and we produce animated show, uh, comedy shows, we produce shows with uh, puppets of politicians. Uh, uh, and all this because you kind of realize we get a lot of young people tuning in to watch the show. Uh, and that's where they get their news from. Because it's funny, it, 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 it brings them in, they're able to laugh, but to think at the same time. Um, about the conference. So you came here to share your personal story and uh, your experience uh, with the young people who, mm -hmm. who to inspire maybe so, uh, someone to create something new and uh, so what's your um, advice to uh, to the people who, who want to start or, or who have already started uh, what should what should they um, at least think about it a lot before starting, or just write the same ten minutes. <laughs> uh, that's, no, no, that's that's not my advice. I think uh, no, yeah, yeah. I think no. I think I think if uh, you know if they are people who are wanting to start like a if it's maybe a, you know a satire show or something. Um, I mean, firstly you've got to be funny. <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing. Uh, so you got, yeah, you you've got to be funny. Not necessarily a stand-up comedian. You could you can't just be someone who's funny on on camera. Um, I think you need to have uh, have an idea of who your audience uh, is going to be, who you're targeting, what age are they, what do they like, where where, where are they, are they on Facebook, are they on YouTube, uh, how are you doing your scripting, like are, are you writing it, have you got some you know some some people you know who write really well uh, and can, can kind of research news but at the same time make it funny. Uh, also, uh, like, what do you want to achieve with it? I think for us, you know, it's very much about using satire uh, as a, as a, as a vehicle for change. You know, it's it's part of our our, our activism uh, to create a better country and world. So I think there's a lot of questions you have to you have to ask yourself. And also, you're not you're not going to shoot your first show and become a, become a millionaire. Like, you know, you gotta. You gotta, um, you gotta produce a bunch of shows, uh, see how it works, get that audience feedback, tweak it, change it, uh, until you really find, you know, you find your voice, uh, you find your audience, and you get into, you get into that rhythm. Okay. So thank you very much for the um, inspirational story and for the advices. So like I said, the Hamar. Ich weiß nicht, was wir mit der Welt machen, aber wir müssen uns nicht mehr mit der Welt machen. Wir müssen uns nicht mehr mit der Welt machen. Wir müssen uns nicht mehr mit der Welt machen. Wir